5, 2. Dividing monomials. Objective to simplify quotients of monomials and to find the GCF of several monomials. Dude, what do I mean, man? Well, first, let's talk about this property of quotients. It says that, well, AC over divided by BD is the same thing as A over B times C over D. Well, we know this. Remember when we multiplied fractions, what do we do? When you multiply fractions, you do A times C. AC, B times D. B dizzle. Yes, that's what we did, all right? So, same thing's going on here. For instance, 2 times 3 over 4 times 5 is the same thing as 2 fourths times 3 fifths. You know what I mean? Again, BC over BD, this is where it becomes important. Um, the, when they have a common factor on the top and the bottom. Because when you have it like this, BC, BD, there's a B there. Well, you cancel it out. Well, let's just, why can you cancel it out? Because this is this, because of this property of quotients. This is actually B over B times C over D. We know this number, B over B is 1. So it's really just 1 times C over D. What do you get? C over D. All right. Next, over here, 35 over 42. Um, oh, hold on one second. Hey, Sarah, can you just double check, make sure the past game is recording? Um, all right. And so look at 35 over 42. 35 is the same thing as 7 times 5 or 7 times 6. We know how to reduce these things, but why can we reduce? Because of the property of quotients. I can write this as 7 over 7 times 5 over 6. What is 7 over 7? This number is 1. Therefore, this whole thing is 1 times 5, 6, 5, 6. So do I have anything common here? Well, look at this. Let's see. This is 6x squared. I can write this as 2 times 3 times x times x. And this guy has 3 times x times y. And if I wanted to, I could write it as times 1. And this whole thing I can write as 2 over 1 times 3 over 3 times x over x times x over y. And I know that's 1, and that's 1. So it's 1 times 1 times this times this. Well, get these 1's out of there. This times this, so I get 2x over y. All right, cool. We have these rules for quotients. Um, you know, a to the m over a to the n is a to the m minus n. Yeah, well, no duh. Well, think about it. A to the fifth over A to the third. Why? If I did this A to the fifth minus A to the third, or I do 5 minus 3, I get A to the 5 minus 3, which is A squared. You can also see it by saying, oh, huh? If I have A, 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 Yeah, so you get the same thing, like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, also, the other way. A to the third over A to the fifth is 3 minus 5, it's A to the negative 2. Similarly, in, in the similar fashion, meaning a similar voice, if I have A, 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 over A, 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 you get A, 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 those are all 1's, and I get 1 over A squared, which is the same thing as A to the negative tizzo. All right, very nice. Let's keep moving. Let's find the GCF of these guys. GCF again? Yes, GCF again. So what are the factors of this guy? This is 8x cubed y. Isn't this 4 times 2 and 2 times 2? So it's really 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, x, 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 y. And this is 12x to the fourth y, which is 4, 3, 2, 2. So this is 2, 2, 3. X, 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 V. So what do they share? What's the most, the biggest factors that they share? Well, if I did the Venn diagram thing, it would look like this. Here's my Venn. Here's my Venn. I should call it a Sven diagram. I like the name Sven, and I'm Swedish. Anyway, so let's see. They have a couple twos together they're sharing. Two, two. Um, that's most twos. What about um, X's? This guy has three. Ah, oh, look at that. The three X's here. Three axes. There we go. But those are an x, x, x. I'll oh, again y. They share a y also. Y. So in here is four x cubed y. Um, and what's left over here? A three x. And what's left over here? A two. And if you actually multiply this times this times this, you end up getting the um, LCM. And interesting, the LCM times GCF always equals the two numbers times the product of the two numbers anyway. But um, another way we could have done it if we just looked at it like this. If we wrote this out, you would have taken the lowest facts. We'll do it on this one, right? GCF of this guy. All right, we'll do it this, the, uh, the other way, the looking at the, um, looking at the exponents on the factors. So I'm going to break um, 48 down. Yes, that's what I said. I'm going to break it down. 48 is what, people? Is it 16 times 3? Yes, I think it is. 
it's 16 times 3, and this is 4 times 4, which is 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, which means this number really is 2 to the 4th times 3, a cubed, b, c cubed. The other number here, 72, this is crazy, man. It's 36 times 2, 6, 6, 2, 3, 2, 3, do -do 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 -do. I get a 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, which means it's 2 cubed, 3 squared, a, b cubed, c squared. So I look at all the factors that they have, they have, you know, they, they actually, it's interesting, they all have the same, and I take the same factors, right? If there's like a D over here, I'd put D to the zero there, okay? So um, I take the smallest exponent in all these ones, all right? So let's see, what's the smallest exponent on the two? Three, so two to the third. Smallest exponent on the three? One. Three to the one. So I took the this one, this one, look at the A. Um, the most A's I have that are sharing is A to the one, this guy. What about B? I have a B and a B up. Here's a B to the one. And C, three, C up, here we go, C to the two. So, what do they have in common? Dude, I don't put those ones. Here it is. And that's 8 times 3. So it ends up being 24 ABC squared. 24 ABC squared. Very nice. How is this going to help us? Well, we're going to be able to simplify cool stuff like the following. I'm going to be able to simplify this whole thing out. What do you mean? Well, I can simplify it. I can use it. I know if this is a factor of this, I'm going to I can break it down. You know what I'm saying? What do I mean? I mean, I have three of these guys up top, five in the bottom. I can use the rules of exponents. Three minus five is negative two. What I end up with this? I could use that. I could do, the, you know, these are both the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So I can rewrite this as x plus m to the third over x plus m to the fifth times x minus m squared over one. And I get this three to minus five, right? So I really get x plus m to the negative tizzle times x minus m to the two, <laughs> right? Isn't that cool? Or I can write it as, or I can write it as, because that means, see that frown, it's like a frowny face, it's like, I want to be in the, in the denominator, I don't like it up here in the numerator. Well, you can write it like this, x minus m squared over x plus m squared, and look how nice this comes out, then you can really write it like this, x minus m over x plus m quantity squared. There are all these are acceptable ways, but you know, we're just using some of these ideas. All right, let's simplify another one of these. <laughs> all right, can I rewrite this as six, two times 16 um, times x to the n minus four over one times 16 times x to the n plus one. Yes, and because of the, the quotients thing, my thingamajig, I can rewrite this as two over one times 16 over 16 times x to the n minus 4 over x to the n plus 1. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do some reducing. Oh, isn't this 1? Yes, it is. And isn't this 2? Yes, so I get a 2. And I'm going to get some x to the something. What? This guy subtracting this guy. Remember, a to the n, a to the m equals a to the n minus m. a to the n, a to the m, so it's attractive. So I just have to do n minus 4. Um, n minus 4 minus n plus 1. So, let's see, that's n minus 4 minus n minus 1. n's cancel out. Minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. x to the negative 5. Which could also be written as, I'm sad, put me in the denominator. 2 over x to the 5th. So, this is acceptable, this is acceptable. Alright. And finally, here's a woozy bonduzzi. That's what I'm going to call this one, the woozy bonduzzi. Check it. Um, I'm going to start this out by getting rid of these parentheses down there. So I get x to the 2n minus 3, y to the n plus 1, over, now remember, um, a to the m to the n equals a to the mn, right? So the product. So I have to multiply these guys by negative 2. So I get x to the negative 2, y, now I'm going to do negative 2 times this, right? y to the negative 2n minus 2. There we go. So now I can break this guy down into um, pieces. Why? Because the quotient thing told me that. I can break it down. Some people can even just do it right in their head, but we'll do it quickly. This minus this is x to the 2n minus 3 minus 2 is the same thing as 2 minus 3 plus 2, which is 2n minus 1. Y 
n plus 1 minus all this stuff is plus all this stuff. So it would be 3n plus 3. There's my answer. Have a great day.